Hi and welcome to learntocreategames.com. Today we will resume the drag and drop uh, feature that we have started last week. So let's get started. So as you can see, we have a Unity project and uh, this Unity project uh, basically works as follows. So again, uh, you can see uh, you have an object on the right hand side and I'm able to drag and drop it and it can snap as well to the box. So if it's really near the box, it will snap to the exact position of the box. So again, this was achieved using a script called manage drag and drop. So again, here I'm just highlighting a different object. You have the image on the right hand side and the placeholder on the left hand side. And again, uh, we use the event uh, drag and drop to be able to manage uh, these drag and drop features. So again, the script that he, that you can see attached uh, does the so does what is following. Sorry. So again, the function drag here is used to drag the objects whenever the object is dragged. So the event dragged is called. This function will be called. And uh, whenever the object is dropped, so the event is end drag, then what we do is make sure that the, the new position of the object is the, project, the, the position sorry, of the placeholder. So what we will do in this session is quite simple. Uh, is we will actually duplicate the placeholder and make sure that uh, our image can, can actually snap to the different placeholders. The idea really is to create a little puzzle. So again, I'm going to duplicate this placeholder, so duplicate it twice. Again, like we can use uh, select plus control D or Apple D to uh, duplicate this object. And I'm going to change their name to placeholder 1, placeholder 2, and placeholder 3. So again, um, the idea really is to have some kind of games where you have to match uh, a specific uh, image, for instance. So at this stage, we have three placeholders, so 1, 2, 3. Again, I need to make sure that my image is uh, listed last. Uh, in the canvas so that it can be displayed on top of these three objects. That's the reason why it appears after placeholder 1, 2 and 3. So uh, now that it's done, I will need to modify my script to be able to snap to this different object. So as a script as it is, you can see that it will basically uh, check for a specific object. This one is uh, placeholder 1. And then it will, you know, based on the distance between the image that I'm moving and this object, it will snap the, the image to this placeholder. So in this case here, we have three different placeholders. So what we want to do is to create a loop. And this loop basically will go through three different placeholders. And if I'm near, uh, near enough to one of these uh, placeholders, I will snap the image to this placeholder. So again, here in the script, I'm creating a loop. The loop starts at uh, zero. In fact, it should start at one. I will have an error later on. So uh, the loop should start at one and go through one, two, and three. So again, every time I'm dropping my object, I will go through this loop. And for this loop, I will look for specific placeholders. So again, I'm going to have add i to the name of the placeholder that I'm looking for. So let's say the first time I'm going to look, go for the loop, I'm going to look for placeholder 1, then placeholder 2, and then placeholder 3. So again, using a loop here makes it much easier to kind of going to, to go through actually different placeholders. So in this particular case here, so let's say that uh, if the distance between a specific placeholder and the, um, in the image is less than 50, I will snap to this particular placeholder. So again here I'm going to clear my console and uh, preview my game. And the idea will be to uh, try to drag and drop my object onto one of these boxes so close enough it should snap to it. So it should actually uh, be put to the exact same uh, position as the closest uh, box or placeholder. So again I'm going to drag and drop this object here and you can see it will snap to the first box. Now, we have an error, as I said earlier on, we have an error here, so on line 29, and as we will see, it's just because the loop is going from zero to three, and there is no placeholder called placeholder zero. This way we have a problem here. So again, I'm gonna make sure that this starts at one, and then my save my code and go back to Unity. Again, those errors could be quite common and just makes, give you an idea of you know what could, have, what could have happened and what to do to modify this situation. So again here, I'm going to just um, drag and drop it to the first one. It should snap properly. Perfect. And again, I'm going to drop it to the second one. It snaps again. And the third one, it snaps again. All right. So again, it works perfectly. So at this stage, there are a few things I could do. One of them could be to make sure that my object is put back to its previous position 
um, if it's not actually close enough <coughs> to, the, to the object on which I want to snap it. But a second thing I'd like to do as well is to find a way to be able to know if I drag and drop my image on the right placeholder. So in this case, I'm going to choose the placeholder one and add a, an image to it, which just means that this is the correct placeholder where I should put my image. And we will also give a tag to my placeholder. So again, I created tags previously, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to use the tag match. Again, you can add a tag of your choice if you want to. So again, what I'm saying is that this particular object, placeholder one, has a tag called uh, match. And the other ones, as you can see, don't have any, uh, any tag. And then what I will do is whenever I want to snap my image, my image onto the closest or nearest placeholder, I will also check for its tag, which means that if the tag is match, then uh, my, my image will be snapping or snapped onto this particular placeholder. But if it's not the case, if it's not the right match, then uh, I will actually put it back to the previous position. I will put my image to its previous position. So in this case here, so if this distance is less than 50, I will actually um, again make sure that uh, I put this image at the same location as uh, the placeholder. Otherwise, if it's false, then I will actually move the object back to its original position. So again, if the tag is match, then you know we'll move it to the uh, position of the placeholder. Otherwise, I will move my image to its initial position. Now, I'm going to use a variable that I have not defined yet, so I'm going to write it down and then define it uh, later on uh, in the start function. Okay, so again, in this case, uh, I'm going to use to, I'm going to need to use um, an else statement, and again, in this case, I want to use uh, my object and uh, move it back to its initial position. So as you can see, I'm using uh, initial position here. It hasn't been defined yet. So again, I'm going to declare it as a vector tree. So again, it's a position with three coordinates, x, y, and z. And uh, again, whenever the game is starting, so whenever the object is created, I will save its position. So it's going to be its initial position. So again, the start function here, I'm going to say that initial position is the actual current position of my object. So even before it has been moved. So again, game object dot transform dot position. Okay, and that should ensure that uh, whenever I want to snap an object to uh, uh, a placeholder that is not with the tag called match, then my image should be moved back to its original position. So a few comments here. I'm going to save the code and go back to Unity. So again, as I play my scene, you should see that if I'm not dragging this object onto the right placeholder, it will go back to its initial position. So let's try again. So again, you should see the scene uh, appear in a few seconds. I'm going to move my object. So I'm going to move uh, my object. So drag and drop this object on the placeholder. And again, if it's not the right one, you see it's actually put back to its initial position. The same for a second placeholder. Again, it's back to its previous position. But if I use the first placeholder, which has a match tag, then it's just staying there. So again, it's a very nice way to implement a drag and drop and to be able as well to check whether I'm dragging an object on the current on the on the correct placeholder. Sorry. So what I could also do here is to simply you know print a message whenever we have a match, for instance, or if we ever don't have a match. And uh, what I could also do is say that you know if the distance between my object and any of the placeholders is more than 50, but again that may need to be modified later on. Uh, then basically what I should do is to uh, make sure that this um, uh, object is put back uh, to its original position. Okay, so again, uh, there is a small typo here, I should have a semicolon at the end, so add that on line 39 as well. So save this and go back to Unity. So again, this means that if I'm dropping this object and it's not uh, within the supposed um, um, within any, well, if it's not any closed, if it's not close to any of these three placeholders, it will be put back to its original position. 
So again, if I play the scene and uh, try to drag and drop this object, again, you see it will go back again to the original position. Even if I drop it anywhere in the scene, in fact, it will do the same. So again, it's a very nice way to implement your drag and drop and also be able to check whether you have or you haven't um, used or uh, drag and drop your object uh, on the matching uh, area. So that's it guys, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Again, if you want to know more about Unity, please check the website www.learntocreategames.com. See you, bye!